Hello everyone! Today we're going to start our final drawing for our Heather Galler Hot Cocoa. Your hot cocoa cup is the biggest item on your paper. So drawing with your paper vertically, you're going to start by beginning your opening of the cocoa cup. So remember, we're looking at drawing an oval shape or an ellipse. Decide what shape your hot cocoa cup is going to be. This example just has some straight lines. And make sure that the bottom edge has a curve to it to try to make it look three-dimensional. Your handle could go on either side of the paper and you're doing a double line to show that the cup has a thick handle. Add in a line behind the cup to represent the table. And you can do some swirls to show that the liquid is hot. One thing I forgot to do was draw the line to show the liquid is in the cup. So that would be another curve line. For this next part, you should make sure your name is on the back. And then you're going to get a placemat and a bingo dauber. These bingo daubers are filled with ink. And even though the bottle feels like you should squeeze it or squish it, you really don't want to do that. It's going to make the liquid come out too fast. It's a good idea to always test it just to make sure that the ink is primed and ready to come out. And you just are tracing your lines. It's like using a really thick marker. So just go slow, hold it gently, trace over all of your lines carefully. After your cup and the table line are traced, think about the patterns. Remember, Heather Galler's art had lots of designs. There's different designs for the table, for the wall, and for the cup. So you can just draw your design with the bingo dauber. Here I'm going to do a checkerboard-like table. And then in the background, you just pick a shape and repeat it. So I'm picking a circle, and then I'm adding a design onto my mug. All right, here's showing the next step. So with a different example, I'm going to be adding my first round of colors. I'm using these really big, chunky oil pastels. The oil pastels are going to be used to help design your art. So we are not coloring in big spaces. You're just going to be adding more of our lines and adding to the patterns because our final step is to go over everything with watercolor paint. So notice I'm just kind of making some marks. You could color in some of the small areas and then continue working on like what sort of pattern you're going to have. For watercolor paint, you'll get a cup of water, big brush and a medium brush, and a pack of watercolor paints. Remember, watercolor paint needs water to work. So I'm using my really big brush here, and I'm just going to start wetting the color I'm using first, which is the red. Then you kind of wiggle the brush and the paint to wake up the paint. Now you can brush right over your oil pastel because the paint is wet enough. If you skip this part and just start painting, it's going to cover up the colors. So it's really important that you use lots of water. Wash your brush as you go. Use bigger brush for bigger areas, smaller brush for smaller areas. And once everything is painted, you can put it on the rack to dry. Thanks so much for joining us. I can't wait to see how your hot cocoa mug turns out.